Welcome to your Go Market Update Charts of the Day. We are well through the Asian session now on its 23rd of January 2024. So just a market update. Mike Smith at Go Markets to lead you around what's happening. Of course, overnight, US equities continue to move higher, hitting new all-time highs to follow on through from last week's move. Earnings are going to continue to dictate sentiment. We've got some big players reporting tonight, including Netflix and Tesla after the bell and a couple of the Dow components prior to market open. So earnings season really ramping up this week, so we should get an indication about whether current price levels are justified from a valuation point of view. We've also got the BOJ in focus today. We've got the rate decision coming out of the Bank of Japan in the press conference, which does have market moving potential, and key inflation data at the end of the week, which may dictate sentiment as well for the next few weeks in terms of Fed policy. U.S. futures are near neutral in Asian trading, but have pushed slightly above zero in the last couple of hours. Asian markets are generally following that positive lead from Wall Street. We are seeing the ASX up around two-thirds of 1%, and European futures pointing to another cautiously positive open this afternoon. U.S. dollar hasn't been much movement over the last few days. If we look at a daily chart flatlining around resistance, it's quite neutral in Asia. Uh, gold is hovering around 2030 in Asia today, after failing to hold a move above that yesterday. Copper remains range bound beneath that 200 EMA, but is positive in Asia so far. Oil has edged up towards the high of the range with some follow through again today. That $75 level on the WTI CFD contract looks important technically. Bitcoin, however, looks precarious. It breached the 41,000 support overnight here at a five week low. It isn't losing any more in Asia so far, but interesting to see how this moves after the bigger European and US markets open later in the session. And as well as the BOJ, we have little else of note today apart from Eurozone consumer confidence. We do have global PMI data tomorrow, but it's going to be reporting from company earnings and that PCE data at the end of the week, which are going to be the major market movers. A couple of charts at Core RI today. The euro Canadian dollar is interesting on the daily chart. You can see we had what looks a little bit like a long term double top formation, which had this breach of a 200 MA a few days ago. That really hasn't had any follow through at all. And so now we have a key level, possibly around that 8845 level as support. That 200 MA is sitting at 88.96 so just beneath that 89 cent level if we just bring this onto an hourly chart you can see how important this level looks and if we do get a breach then there looks as though there could be a significant move up now possibly around about 40 pips to the upside on the hourly chart worthwhile being patient of course until we get a breach but that looks like worth keeping an eye on on the asx tech stocks doing well today the outperforming sector and we can see megaport here are uh, breaching a level that we've talked about previously on our chart of the day and you can see it's now through that 963 level and suggestive of a move up possibly to around about this 1030 uh, level uh, around about here uh, 1035 maybe that would uh, represent a six percent move up from where we are now uh, looks pretty solid looks as though the buying pressures and you can see good volume today on this move up as well uh, that suggests that this is looking as though the buyers are well and truly in. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye bye for now.